Hello dear student, welcome to another lesson in Applied Linguistics. In today's lesson, we will be talking about factors responsible for the, rapidi the rapidity and accuracy of the acquisition of a language. Okay, so we will see first input. Input, according to Tucker, uh, 2003, he notes that the quality and quantity of the input makes the first difference. The quantity of the exposure to the target language that a, that a child has is greater than that of the adult. The input is the learning situation in form of exposure to the, to the language in various ways, in various ways that a learner is opportune to have. So basically, according to Tucker, uh, input is very important to language learning or language acquisition. Okay, input, we're, and we're talking about input, we are talking about the quality of input, okay, and the quantity, okay. So the quality here, we're talking about comprehensible input, okay, communicative input, okay, and the quantity is how much you are, how much. Uh, you are exposed to a language, okay? Is it every day, for example, you are exposed to a language all the time? And, okay, so this is what we mean by the quantity. And is, it, is the input like the, you are exposed to it uh, all the time, okay? And how quality or uh, how, um, you mean in terms of quality, how, how, how good it is, how comprehensible it is. A child hears the language all day long at home. Okay, so this is the quantity, of course. At play, in the classroom, okay. But an adult may be restricted to the classroom or home instructors as a result of a lack of time to study. Okay, so a child, they come to acquire language in a very limited time, okay, because the input they get exposed to the input all day okay <laughs> and or and on the classroom also so you have in the street at home uh, at, at the class in the classroom etc but an adult is only restricted to classroom okay he's only uh, restricted to input like one 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 day in a week or two hours uh, in a week okay when you are learning another language so we don't um, go to school, for example, every day, all day long. So we have like a very limited time. Okay, that's why it is difficult to learn another another language. It could be due to the pressure of work or inability to grasp some in, some structures, which may discourage the the adult learner from moving very fast. For example, sometimes. You feel like you have a lot of pressure because of work, okay? So you come from work, for example, you work all day, and then in the evening you have, for example, a class, English classes, etc., and you are tired because of work, etc., so you find it difficult to grasp difficult abstract uh, structures of language, okay? And this discourages uh, the learner from moving fast, from learning and improving their uh, acquisition their, and their, or their learning of, of the language. Another factor is age. Scholars have noted the issue of a critical period after which successful learning may be difficult to accomplish. Tucker notes that this period is usually tied to puberty because it has been noticed that people go through significant changes physically, emotionally, and in terms of cognition during puberty. Okay, so when in in in, in after a critical period, <laughs> it is difficult to learn a language. Okay, because the body of adults goes through some transformations. Okay, physically and emotionally, which creates the problem in language acquisition. So we find it difficult to learn as you grow, uh, as you grow up, the less ability of learning you get okay <coughs> in 
In H or in this factor, there are three main changes noted in terms of language acquisition. These are considered below. The presence of muscular plasticity. A child's plasticity is said to go away after the age of five. Some psycholinguistics uh, psycholinguists note that, okay, some psycholinguists, sorry for that mistake, you can um, change that. So it's psycholinguists, some psycholinguists note that it is difficult for a learner to fully master the pronunciation of second language, okay? So because of the child's plasticity, which goes away after the, the age of five, this creates a problem for a learner to fully master the pronunciation of a second language. So most of the people who learn another language when they are adult, they don't learn or master the pronunciation of language. Okay, so we just de use language accurately, but the pronunciation is, is not that perfect. Okay, so, but when you are a child, under the age of five, you can learn to speak like another language, like a, a native speaker. Another uh, change is uh, what is called memorization capacity. Okay, it's another element in this factor, which is age. Memorization capacities. Okay, it has been noted that as a person grows older, their ability to retain large amount of information reaches its peak and then begins to decrease. Okay, this is again Tucker 2003. For Tucker, the memorization, your capacity to memorize language, okay, as you grow up, the memorization capacity decreases, okay. When you are a child, you memorize very well, okay, your mind's still fresh and you can, it can um, retain a large amount of information, but as you grow up, you start to forget a lot and lose information, etc. The third element in this factor is neurobiological changes. Medical science reports that as a person matures, the left hemisphere, which controls the analytical and intellectual functions, becomes more dominant than the right side which controls the emotion functions. This affects language learning in the sense that adults have the advantage of getting the essentials of grammar than children because of their cognitive development. Okay, so basically uh, this part uh, explains that, you know, a human brain is divided into two parts. So we have left hemisphere and right hemisphere. As you grow old, the left hemisphere becomes dominant, okay? And this left hemisphere contains the analytical intellectual functions. So as you grow old, okay, as you grow up, you get, you get mature, you become mature. You can, you have the advantage to get essential of grammar because you analyze uh, critically, okay? And you have these intellectual functions that is uh, part of your left hemisphere. It helps you also to grasp uh, essentials of grammar. Unlike children, this affects, okay, unlike children, they don't have this, this advantage, okay? Because the children, they are, they are very emotional, okay? So the, the right side, which, is, which, which controls the emotion, is, uh, is bigger. Uh, another factor, the, so we have seen input, now age, and then we must move to motivation, which is the third uh, factor in, uh, which helps in the rapidity and accuracy of another language. <coughs> motivation has a lot to do with emotional changes. Children are easily motivated, more than adults. For Tucker again, who notes the two ways by which adults can be motivated, and these are, first, investigate in integrative, sorry, integrative motivation, which encourages a learner to acquire the new language so as to be able to identify with speakers of the target language. 
So we have two types of motivation here. So we have integrative. It's again, an, uh, it, it is about you learn a language because you want to be uh, identified uh, with speakers of the target language. You learn English, for example, you want to be identified as an English speaker, okay, within the group of, of English language. <coughs> or French or any other language. Instrumental motivation, another type of motivation, this one encourages a learner to acquire proficiency for practice purposes, such as becoming a translator, doing research in different areas. So this type of, which is instrumental motivation, has basically, uh, has to do with, with, um, with jobs. For example, you want to learn another language because you want to be a translator, okay? Or you want to be a teacher or something like that. Uh, another factor, factor is egocentricity, okay? It has been reported that adults may get annoyed when corrected when learning another language, but children do not. Adults see mistakes most often as, a fail, as failures, or as a failure, sorry, you can remove that S, as a failure or as failures, rather than an avenue for correction. So according to Tucker, children, they don't get annoyed when they make mistakes, okay? For them, it's okay. They make mistakes all the time and no problem, okay? But adults, when they make mistakes and then you correct them, they feel like embarrassed, okay? They feel like uh, they failed to produce correct language. So this, of course, makes problems for the learners. So, for example, the next time they will not, uh, they will not, participate, for example, they will not, because they are afraid of making mistakes, okay, this uh, hinders le uh, learning process. <coughs> to conclude, the rapidity and accuracy of language acquisition or learning is dependent on first input the learners are exposed to, their age, whether they are children or adults, Motivation, which is instrumental, which can be, could be instrumental or integrative, and their egocentricity. Okay, and this is it for today. Thank you very much for your attention.